Hi, welcome back to Lunchbox World. We're sharing the love today. We're still on the Lunchbox love theme. Uh, loving our lunch boxes so this is perfect for Valentine's Day or any time of year when you just want to show a bit of love so check the link above for all the other ones in the playlist and let's get straight to it okay so we're using the tapas lunch box here and we just thought we'd use these love letters and so here's the tapas we just thought we'd sort of just test out the water see what fits we've already pre found all of the red um, purple and pink fruit and we thought we'd put them on kebab skewers so fruit of your choice so here we've got water watermelon we've got um, red grapes we've got raspberries strawberries if they're in season we thought we'd pop in some more because they were just so juicy we found some just a little pot of, of melon chopped up melon is always really handy and they do um, do it in the supermarkets as well so you can just buy what you need be sure to put a little pick in or skewer it all up and then in the final compartment we're going to put just a handful of uh, blueberries but again it can be whatever fruit you want I was just thinking of you know reds pinks purple colors and so in the main compartment where we've got the love letters at the moment we're actually going to use some sandwich thins and chop out the love letters now I found these in Tiger um, and you know I also found some marshmallows that I love heart shaped so the possibilities are endless so I've pre-cut out the sandwich thin letters i was just having a bit of a play with the love hearts and um so yeah with the sandwich thin we're just going to put one in and then it can be a topping of your choice i just wanted to do something really quick and easy which was cream cheese you could easily do mayo with um chicken or you know whatever whatever you like really but I wanted to keep it sort of a white color because I'm going to you'll see in a minute we're going to put the sprinkles on the top so I've pre-cut out the love and um, in each of the little holes or the where you can see the L-O-V-E we're going to use the love heart sprinkles which I found in Morrison so do have a good look in all of your supermarkets locally and really check out the baking aisle because this is where I find a lot of my inspiration at the moment and these sprinkles the love hearts they're red they're pink and it's just perfect and I know I'm going to keep bringing them out throughout the rest of this year so do check the link above if you want to see other love heart lunchbox ideas in this playlist that I've created and so yeah we're just really giving a good sprinkle of these now you know if you did want to limit the sugar then use red pepper and think radishes because those are pink and you know you could sort of chop up teeny weeny little bits of strawberry um so with the the love letters that we've cut out i just put them back in the lunch box and you could make a complete lunch box just full of full of love literally um, so it's just a bit of fun it's a really quick lunch idea it just takes a little bit of prep you could easily prep it up the night before and then I just wanted to dot in a few of the little marshmallow the love hearts which I found now these are by Dr Etka um, they're not in the supermarkets all the year round so I did just find them and then in Tesco I found these little lunchbox cards that you can sort of write and put in the lunchbox so there you go there's the pack that I found on the shelf so really really super quick and easy if you do like the idea please share the love tell all your friends let's just keep loving those lunch boxes and make it fun for the kids and for us as well you know let's keep putting the fun back into pet lunches so what do you think do you think you'll try it be sure to like it give us some love um, subscribe if you haven't because there's loads of lunchbox ideas on the channel it's increasing all the time we've got more and more playlists we're going to be bringing out gluten-free ideas you know and most of the ideas that we do I'd say actually pretty much all of them are um, nut free um, but I will you know make sure it's clear in the videos which ones are and um, just thank you so much for being here thank you for listening to the end and there's action points in the in the description box below so can't wait to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye now